Hello, magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition, Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, please make sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop, along with my list of services, is listed below. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below my Facebook, my Instagram, my Patreon butterfly community, my blog website, and my donation links are listed below. This reading is going to be a collective reading, a general collective reading for Twin Flames. This is going to be an energy check-in to see what is currently going on in the Twin Flame Collective. This will be general, so please use your own discernment when watching this video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak to your soul, release it and let it fly. The format that I'm using for this reading is the same format spread that I use in my Twin Flame experience. It is a pre-recorded 30 minute Twin Flame energy check-in. If you like this reading, if you want to get one catered to your Twin Flame connection, you can book the Twin Flame experience in my Etsy shop. So let's get into your Twin Flames overall energy, current headspace, and current heart space when it comes to you and your Twin Flame connection. The deck I'm going to be using is the Story Cards by Kathy Nichols. And I actually found this deck on Etsy if you're interested and you want to purchase this deck. So their overall energy is Neighbor. And that is clarified by gratitude. So what I'm feeling is that you and your twin flame either live close to each other, work close to each other, or both. But you two are in the same neighborhood. And it is causing a gratitude energy with your twin flame because they're feeling very lucky and very grateful that the two of you are starting to merge and align your paths to finding each other. In their headspace, they are in crossing and trust. So your person is learning to cross the bridge, to bridge the gap of separation, trusting their intuition and their instincts to bridge the gap to reconciliation so the two of you can come back together. In your person's heart space, they are solitude and travel. So solitude is just showing me that you are the only one that has their heart and you have always had their heart since the day that they saw you and they want to travel towards you. Your person is learning to be self-reliant and has been on a healing journey for some time and that is causing them to want to have new beginnings in their life when it comes to love and they are ready to open the door and to let you in because previously they couldn't let you in because they were scared. And an opportunity for you and your twin flame to cross paths is going to happen. So Box of Rain just shows me that healing has occurred in this connection. And that is going to bring in this opportunity. See? Healing. You and your twin flame have done a lot of healing separately. And that is bringing this opportunity of love. Butterfly. Transformation. And this building... I don't know why I'm seeing a couple of different things. I'm seeing a coffee shop, like a Starbucks. I'm seeing a restaurant in Europe somewhere. And I'm also just seeing um, like a bed and breakfast. I don't know why that's coming through also. But your person has faith that they can come in to bring some type of communication and 
you are being guided to have faith too because I feel you are feeling this but you second guess it you doubt it maybe you fear your your twin flame is going to be in the same energy they were that is just your ego projecting that so if you're having those feelings come up really go within to make sure that you stay faithful to your intuition and don't let your ego come in to cause any type of doubt or fear so next we're going to get the blocks the obstacles the conflicts and the challenges that are currently happening in your twin flame connection now these can be yours your twin flames or both of yours and I will bring forth a guidance message or guidance messages on how to clear heal purge or release each one the decks I'll be using for this is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot and the Twin Flame Angel Numbers, both created by Mystic Moon. Five of Cups, Old Wounds. So what I'm getting is that your person knows that there is a wound that they caused in your connection that they want to come in and heal. And the guidance message for you is 4141. 41 equals a 5. So you have two fives. Fives are about change and they equal a 10. So a new cycle. Congratulations, you've taken the proper steps on your healing journey, which assures success. So what I'm getting from this card is that you have taken the proper steps on your healing journey. So now your person wants to come in to heal what needs to be healed between the two of you because you both have healed on your own. Ace of Pentacles, wise investment. So what I'm feeling with the light bulb is your person is starting to see the light, that it's becoming unblocked. And you are too when it comes to this twin flame connection. And that is bringing in the 717 energy of an encounter with your twin flame could be on the horizon. So you feel very strongly that you and your twin flame are going to cross paths in the physical. You're, you're sensing it, you're feeling it. And you're excited, you're happy, but at the same time, you're scared. And don't be scared. Be open to it. Allow it to come. Don't be so afraid where you start to overthink and get into that energy of trying to control the outcome, having an expectation, a timeline. Let it just happen naturally. And you'll see that this encounter with your twin flame can manifest in the physical. Next is Eight of Pentacles. You both are a work in progress because you both are reinventing yourselves. You two are very much alike and you two are very much on the same page. You may have gotten some type of confirmation about that or maybe not or you're going to. But what I'm getting with this card is that it's helping you with 777, honor your shadow self and let it reveal any hidden mysteries to you. A completion is near. So what I'm getting is that if you're having fearful thoughts come up or energy or you're afraid, the same thing is going to happen. Because maybe when you and your twin flame were separated, you were really easy to be in that 5D energy, but the 3D energy is so different because it's real. So just keep yourself in that energy. You're a work in progress. You're reinventing yourself. You're basically redrawing, rewriting, or writing a new chapter in this connection. And the last one is the emperor. So this is what has kept the divine masculine from taking movement and taking the action steps towards his divine feminine. His guidance is 111. Fresh new concepts and ideas are being made available to you for the journey ahead. So he is seeing the number 111 and he is getting new concepts and new ideas for him and his journey ahead. And what that is doing it helped him see with 533, a change in scenery helped him clear his mind. He may have gone on a short trip or a vacation. Maybe he just went somewhere where he could just be alone in his thoughts. And it helped bring in the 711 energy in your connection. Progress is being made in your connection despite what you are seeing in the 3D world. So a lot of things are happening in the 5D. You're sensing it. You're feeling it. Trust it 
because sometimes you have to see beyond what is happening in the physical world or what is not happening in the physical world. You have to trust your intuition and you have to trust that if you're in this energy and this reading is resonating with your connection and what you're feeling intuitively with your connection, your divine masculine is getting unblocked and he's going to take some type of movement towards you in the physical 3D world because I feel your connection has been in the 5D for a really long time and it is now shifting back into the 3D because you both are ready. So next I'm going to bring forth guidance. So this will be guidance advice, what you need to know, and any action steps you may be guided to take either in your twin flame connection as well as your own personal journey of self, love, and healing. And I have four decks of guidance. I have two decks that I created, Butterfly Messages from Spirit and Awakening Messages. I have the Making Magic by Priestess Moon, it's Manifesting Your Dreams mini deck, and then the Divine Doors mini deck. So your first message is Set Clear Intentions. So when it comes to this twin flame connection, set intentions on what you want to manifest in this connection, what you want, and free yourself of your ego. Free yourself of fear, doubt, and any, anything that's ego-based that is coming up to the surface. And what that's going to do is going to help you plant the seeds and you will watch them grow, meaning you will give them the sun, the air, the water, the time and space they need to grow. And Archangel Michael is coming through with a message that this twin flame connection is protected and that you just need to focus on the present. Don't worry about the past and don't worry about the future. So your manifestation of this twin flame connection can come into fruition. And remember, with the negative thoughts, when you cleanse your soul, you cleanse your mind of negative thoughts. And signs are everywhere, so trust what you are seeing, what you are feeling, what you are sensing, because you are being shown what is about to happen. Archangel Shemuel is coming through to remind you that there is an unconditional love between you and your twin flame. It is real. You are not imagining it. It is real. And this unconditional love is bringing in the union with self energy. You are in union with yourself. Your twin flame is coming into union with their self. And you both are telling each other, I was lost and found myself when I found you. And your twin flame wants you to know that your love has transformed him or her. And that the tests and triggers that happened in this connection taught both of you valuable lessons. The tree of life, true wisdom and making good choices in life and prosperity. A prosperous business with riches and success. So the tree of life shows me something new is going to grow. Something new has potential to bring prosperity, abundance, success, a new beginning. And what that is doing it is opening the door to silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. So in order for this tree of life prosperity to come in, you must release the ego and doubt and get into the intuition of the three-eyed raven energy. As sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls with news prepare for the unexpected. So if you connect with ravens, even crows, and you've been having crows craw call around you, they have been telling you a message is coming. Maybe you're actually intuitively hearing that when you hear them call. If you're not tuning into what they're saying, crows are telling you a message is coming. So expect the unexpected. Your twin flame is going to send some type of message. So that is what I have for guidance, advice, what you need to know, and any action steps 
you may be guided to take in your twin flame connection as well as your personal journey of self love and healing so next I'm going to bring you possible future energy so this is going to be possible future energy it is not set in stone because energy changes daily so, and this will det be determined by if you and your twin flame do your work follow your guidance and make the free will decision to come together I'll be using the crystal visions tarot So a tower moment is causing everything to fall into alignment. So I'm feeling over this past new moon that we had in Aries helped you and your twin flame align and shift the energy of your connection. And it shifted the energy into manifestation with the magician. And what the two of you are going to manifest is the ending of a tough cycle. Seven of Swords showing me picking up the pieces, putting an end to the deception and strategizing on how to come forward. Your twin flame is going to come in with a love offer. They are going to want to extend to you an olive branch, an apology, and an offer. This offer is coming from a King of Cups someone who is very much in love with you, who wants to transform and bring balance to the connection. You may connect with sunflowers or butterflies or both, but the sun card is showing me brighter days are ahead once your king of cups comes into your life or back into your life. This connection will transform once the your twin flame brings you this offer you will not see it coming because you will be the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles you will be busy working on yourself but this love offer is going to bring an end to the cycle the two of you have been in where the two of you are going to work on the connection you will accept this love offer your twin flame brings you you will not allow fear to stop you from taking what you want to align with the masculine if you resonate with a masculine counterpart king of wands there will be no temptation from third parties because the two of you will want to come together and bring a celebration community a coming out so I feel your person is ready to share with their friends and family and even co-workers that there is someone that they love very much. And the sun is going to shine and it's all because the crows and the third eye raven are telling you a message is coming. So get ready for a new beginning when it comes to your twin flame. Your twin flame is getting ready to get on his horse or her horse and come towards you. So let's get channeled messages from, we'll start with spirit babies. So let's get channeled spirit baby messages just to see what the spirit babies have to say for the Twin Flame Collective. So baby says spirit baby messages, animal edition by Divine Moon Empress. So the first message is turtle. You chose this path before incarnating on earth. Walk in it confidently and at your own pace all is as it, as it should be. So you don't need to rush. You don't need to run. Be the turtle. Remember, the, they're showing me the turtle and the hare. The turtle won that race because the hare got lazy and the hare got overconfident. Keep going is what the turtle is saying. And with the skunk, back off. Quit trying so hard and let everything fall into place. So the skunk is telling you, just, just be the turtle. Go with the flow. Keep moving forward. Things are aligning for you and your twin flame. And the ox is saying it's time to reconnect to your inner sacred masculine energy. So you may need to get out of the divine feminine energy just to connect with your masculine energy 
so you can get more into the 3D energy because that sometimes the, the feminine energy is very 5D and the masculine energy is more 3D. So you may need to shift that to get a balance of a yin and yang. And with the rabbit, it's your lucky day. Abundance is multiplying in more ways than one. So if you are seeing rabbits or you will see a rabbit or you connect with rabbits, rabbits are telling you that something is about to come into fruition because rabbits symbolize fertility. So next, I'm going to get you channeled messages from your person's higher self to you. I will be using the Journey of Love Union Deck by Bridget Rao, Divine Essential. And I'm just going to read the cards and they will be for self-interpretation. So if you're not familiar with how I do these cards, I'm going to read the card if it speaks to your soul it's for you. If you're not sure, if you're trying to for to place it, if you're trying to decipher what the card meaning is, the message is simply not for you. So release it and let it fly and see if the next card is for you. Okay. I swear it's true. And that's truth number nine. So what I'm feeling is you're not imagining it. This is a divine love connection. And there is a change happening. There is a new beginning happening. I can't wait to dance with you into eternity. This is about unity. Union, number four. Protection, number eight. I just want to keep you safe and warm. Loyal companion, number 25, which equals a seven. My love is unconditional. And number six, for nostalgic, I love you. So I'm going to close out this reading with a channeled song message from your twin flames higher self to you. And take a bow. I've always been in love with you. I guess you've always known it's true. You took my love for granted. The show is over. Say goodbye. So. The message I'm really getting with this song is that they're taking a bow from their ego, from their fears, and they know they went in the wrong direction. And they're saying yes to you because they know they are never going to love again because you are the love of their life. When we first met, I never thought that I would fall I never thought that I'd find myself lying in your arms and I want to pretend that it's not true, oh baby, that you're gone because my world keeps turning and turning and turning and I'm not moving on. So your twin flame knows that they have to say goodbye to past love connections, past just partners because you are the only one for them. So I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on what is happening in the Twin Flame Collective. If this resonated, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. If it didn't, no worries. Hopefully I will tap into your energy on my next Twin Flame Energy Check-In. Or if you feel guided to, you can book a Twin Flame Experience pre-recorded 30-minute reading or the Twin Flame Intuition 20-minute pre-recorded reading if you want a shorter reading that doesn't have channeled messages. Love and light to you.